Okay, I took some videos yesterday during the storm and showed all the running water around the house. I'm going to kind of just show the aftermath, which there isn't much around us. We were very lucky. But the first thing I'm showing you there is that car parked in the street that belongs to one of two dumbasses. Uh, there were two cars there. They've since towed the other one away. It was a Mustang. They tried to drive way too fast through the standing water on our property, or on in front of our property. Um, and basically flooded out their cars, rendering them indrivable. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show is the water line. Uh, everybody's been to the beach and seen like the algae line where you see how high the tide comes in. Um, here basically is our side yard, and I'm going to walk around at the front and show you how high the water was in our front yard. So there's the road, you can see the car coming. Basically the water line comes the whole way up here, almost to our sidewalk. Um, literally yesterday, as cars were driving uh, through the water on the road, we literally had waves crashing in toward our house. And you can see the aftermath here with the grass up in the yard. It was a very weird experience. And I'm going to walk around the whole side yard here. My feet are actually still squishing in the ground here yet. It's still pretty soggy. But there's the water line continuing, and a lot of the water had run around the side of the house back here. And it was actually up to our shed over here. You can see the grass uh, pushed down. It's a pretty good grade right there. It was actually lapping up to the bottom of the shed and then it was running down into the swale over here. This swale was absolutely full and overflowing. We've never seen it that full since they've installed it. Let me get behind this tree here. It's since empty this morning, but basically the water line, if you see that fence out there, it's behind the one of the neighbor's houses. The water was up to that fence yesterday. You can see the um, you can actually see where the water had uh, pushed over the grass there behind that fence. So we got a substantial amount of water. I think we were very fortunate it didn't come into our house. Um, very lucky. The other thing I want to show you in this video, another place where we got very lucky. Number one, we had a new roof installed. Uh, it got a workout. Thank goodness. Very thankful for the new roof. No leaks on it that we found so far. But the other disaster averted was over here at our basement steps. You can see there's one drain there and there's a little bit of debris there but it was barely keeping up. The um, water was basically, if you look down at the bottom there, the water was up over that first row of brick which puts it almost exactly level with the doorway and if the water would have gone up over that doorway it essentially then would have been Niagara Falls going down the steps into our basement. We have a water drainage system in our basement with a, um, a drain right at the bottom of those steps so it wouldn't have been too big of a disaster but not something we would have wanted to have happen. So anyway we were very lucky got away with one here but there was a substantial amount of water in the area for sure.